What up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, back in here with one more video. Guys, we're gonna go over a classic here today, Hurt Bay. You remember Hurt Bay? It was about three, three and a half, maybe four years ago or so that this video came out, okay? I wanted to go back through it. I thought it'd be a good four-ish year blast from the past just to go through it, give you guys my perspective as the video unfolds, okay? Without further ado. What did you do? I did everything. Nope. Like what? I had sex with other girls. I did everything. Like, you not you just don't know what's real nowadays. You understand what I'm saying? So what? So they had the conversation, and then they said, okay, it's a wrap. That was a very somber time, guys. Listen, listen, listen. We got to get this shot where you guys are both looking up at the ground, and then you got to look each other in the eyes. But do, do it slowly. Do, do, it, do it really slowly. Here we go. And action. This is some L.A. shit. We met in school, we met in college, um, we met in class, and you really didn't like me. No, I didn't like you at first. A couple years later, we moved into like the same apartment complex, and the first day we both moved there, mm -hmm. we like met on the elevator again, it was like a reunion. And then you offered to bring my groceries upstairs. And um, yeah, we spent a lot of time together. Like every day. I would say that you were my best friend. Yeah. Me too. I would go through his phone and I would like see text messages or like pictures of girls and then I would ask him about it. Uh, just real quick, um, this happens far too often, all right? I'll be, the I'll be the first to admit this. Because we are hanging out all day and we are like best friends. Doesn't necessarily mean I have left the scoundrel behind. You understand what I'm saying? Unless we've had that conversation. But let's move on. And sometimes you would lie and just say like, oh, that's not true. You don't know what you're talking about. And you said like, oh, I'll stop. But then you didn't. One time I that. <laughs> went to his room and he had someone else in his room and he told me to leave. And I went back to my room and I just cried, like the whole night. And then I think I went like a little while without talking to you. And then you said something like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it again. There was kind of a point where things weren't the same. What do you mean? Just like you would always go through my phone or my computer. Yeah, or, I didn't trust you. If you would go to that measure to, I don't, to find whatever, why why wouldn't you just leave? Listen, you know, let, let's talk about this real quick. I, you know, I think it's a, it's a well-poised question. Um, you know, and I think at the, at the end of the day, when you are a young man that is, um, considered high value to young women, you have options. And while I do not agree with him saying that he will change and then he's just doing the same actions, the reason why he's doing that is because she has not set up boundaries for herself. He does not or did not respect her if the story is true, right? Like if it's not just actors in LA doing stuff, right? Um, so, I, I say that to say, 
on both sides of the coin, if the man doesn't respect the woman, or if the woman doesn't respect the man, nothing matters. It's not a relationship, okay? It's just viscosity and guts. That, that's just it. It's, like, it, it's just it. Listen, and far too often, like, you know, I, and I have, like, um, um, women in my life that share my videos with, like, their, their younger brothers or what have you, it, because what the women are understanding as the younger brothers are, like, telling the situations about relationships is, like, Oh, she doesn't respect you. And and I think like to have a young man hear that, or if you flip genders, a young woman to hear that, that it's not respect, a lot of it can be off-putting. Like, what? I don't get respect. Like, I don't understand that. But that's the only way that I think that you can continue to put yourself through a situation where you know someone is telling you left, but their actions go right. You see, you see what I'm saying? The only way is if they do not respect you, but also if you lack respect for yourself. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know. I think I was like stupid. Sure. How many times did you cheat on me? I, A lot. I, I, I don't know. If you had to say. I wasn't counting. Mm. Oh, this is so goddamn dramatic. Like, <laughs> this is so damn dramatic. Let's keep going. You know what it is too. It, it's so it's so dramatic um, with the difference between right. Like it makes me think, uh, my G. Why did you even go and do this? Right. Like if you are a person who um, you know lies like this, right, in your relationship, like what would make you come up here in order to be um, in order to show the dynamics of a relationship, like right, like or or how you did someone wrong. Like it just it just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense to me. Generally. It'll be very hard for someone who tries to trick people to put something out on Jump Street so that the whole world or whoever knows that they are a trickster. You understand what I'm saying? But watching the whole him looking up in the sky while she's leaving, like, it is what it is. Let's keep going. It had more to do with me just not being able to commit. Why not? Because I didn't, at the time, I really, I didn't want to. I think just sometimes we're, we're just, we're not on the same page. Yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing that you could have done differently that I think would have prevented it. I think that you did everything that you needed to do to be a good girlfriend. And I was lucky to have someone like you. I don't think you're a bad guy because he cheated. I, I forgave you. Why? Because you're my best friend. But it was hard. I think we're like in the first stage of moving on. Yeah. I think we both kind of accepted for the first time that it's really over. I couldn't, like today, I couldn't see like my life without you, but I don't know. I feel like you hurt me a lot, so. I feel like you abandoned me. 
I apologize for hurting you and I hope in the future we can remain good friends. Why? And I get a chance to see you grow into the woman that you're becoming. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Um, this is a rude, a rude manipulation tactic. This is like, this is like, you know, what you say in order to prove that you are an upstanding citizen on the way out to give them something to think about so that when she goes back and she says, she's thinking about what you said and she's like, well, maybe he has changed. Maybe now he understands kind of what he put me through and he's taking accountability responsibility for the situation. But it's all just a booby trap, you know? <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a booby trap, you know what I mean? If you all so happen to set off that booby trap, what will come along with that is the viscous innards. You understand what I'm saying? By the way, I think this is the origination of the haircut as, the, as what they call the F-boy haircut. I think it actually came from this video. Uh -huh. Internet historians, feel free to fact check me on that. I, I think it originated from, from this Hurt Bay video. Because he, he, he wore it so smoothly. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, she felt that. They slowed us down. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, oh, there's some more information. Courtney and Leonard. They still talk. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, there's a part two. All right, listen, I'm going to go over the part. Oh, is that her? Why is she? That's not her. Hurt Bay breaks her silence. Courtney talks going viral. Whoa, she must have had a major tan in this other video because she's way more light in this video interesting 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 i may have to go through both those videos i'll do it at a i'll do it uh within another video um i feel like we've we're over 10 minutes on this video um i mean it is what it is you know we got to talk about these situations just as much you know hopefully you guys enjoyed the blast from the past i'm sure a lot of y'all hadn't seen this video in a couple of years so i thought why not let's bring it back let's talk about this dynamic because I think on both sides of the coins, you can learn from this. Listen, there's savages, there's men savages, there's women savages. Okay. It's all about identifying, okay, the BS that you may be putting yourself through, taking accountability, and move and switching how you move. I think that it's important. I think that it's very important. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Hit me up. Link down in the description box down below. I got a Patreon as well. We get a papping up there. Let me know if you want a, a way to get into the inner circle. Okay? Until next time, YouTube.